We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The San Francisco 49ers take on the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hey, man, I just can't want to sell him. I am on hell and I'll sell him. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Man, on my ER, we ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the message. Oh, oh man. You know, they train those things to eat only visiting players. But when they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Yeah, sometimes I eat my toenails. First and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the MFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. In his galaxy, Amish five, dancing is prohibited by penalty and public stoning. So he really enjoys getting a chance to show off his stuff. He can strut. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Second down and seven. a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Yeah. 
third down and forever. And he was stuck to him like glue. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Which team he's on? Animal! Oh, what a hit! Hey, Bricks, what does it feel like to get hit like that? Uh, like being dropped off a 10 story building with a refrigerator strapped to your back and landing on a fire hydrant. Yeah, great analogy. Oh, no, no, that really happened. Cod game got a little out of hand last night. You can't have five aces, you dumbass. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And that'll be second and eight to go. I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his... And like bricks and balls, he is loose and headed for the end zone. He could go all the way! for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Refuses. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL because whenever any play is open, space. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The defense just wanted it more and got it. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He scores! Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And 
Saints first and ten. Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three win. Is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diet. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Yeah, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. At the end of the first quarter, this one looks like a rout. Someone give me a beer. Third and four. says, I'm taking you with me. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? They're getting on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. They got a saw buck riding on this asshole. <laughs> and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> Third and two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And that'll bring up third and one. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel oh he got mugged more like a mafia hit and it's first and ten five yard gain on that fast play hey look at the coach he's picking his nose you know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice observation, Bricks. Great color work as usual. <laughs> Third down and six. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Bam! 
say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And he's running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh man, he really wants it. Second down in a very lot. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Hey, man, he's going to get on that. He's going to point attempt. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> First and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, sweet mother of fornicating monkeys. He was destroyed on that play. Uh, that's a very weird expression, Grim. You ever been in a monkey house at the zoo, partner? Disturbing to say the least. Just like this. And it's first and ten. Second and three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Oh, no, look at this guy. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was... And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. Yeah, Second down, the defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. First and ten. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> First and four. And that 
That's another turnover for the defense. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And the defense holds that pass play to only two yards. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And that'll be second and eight to go. just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo grip. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit them. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and ten. Oh, what the... And then we'll have to another hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. Did the worms go to the bathroom, Grim? Or did they just crap out, you think? Now you're just talking a lot of crap right now. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. That's a kick for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Third down and nine. Uh, uh. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, with the brain scrambler. First and ten. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. Oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. If there were any Oh, you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Britch's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. Oh. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic. 
a terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and we... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsanto Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grim, they're toast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. This guy's a brick shithound. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot five. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! The offense is lining up to go for it on fourth down. And the defense is looking for a stop or a death. Either will work, but they prefer... The and the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice it. See, sometimes passing the ball for one yard is useful. And it's first and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost so... He Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? First and ten. Oh, that worm grabbed him by the head and didn't let go. Did the worms go to the bathroom, Grim? Or did it just grab the... Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. The defense jumps off sides to kill him.
second down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and, well, good luck. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the rep didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. The ten. It's a touchdown. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. And he just slipped. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pop? Second down and long. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Yeah, boo, baby. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down and a very long. 
and another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Mm, it helps. Believe me, Grim. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And they line up for the extra point. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. The defense has only two defensive backs left. The offense is going to try and inflict as much damage on them as possible. Second down and a lot. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have been down oh, the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. It's a nice catch for five yards. Third down and the punter is warming up. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Touchdown! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitting straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the line, it wasn't a broad I bet it was a chip wearing a wig. It's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom to the moon! 
Boone. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The defense is down to their surviving defensive back. When he dies, they lose the game by forfeit. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match. A six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's in the 20. And the defense is on his heels. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching his cheeks though. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The Cardinal Sins get crushed and lose by forfeit. Someone get more body bags. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Balin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so...